Hey, welcome back to Trucking California with Velox 18. We are in Yuma, Arizona at the Loves. And uh, we delivered a load this morning and we've been hanging out here at the Loves and uh, looking for loads. And I was tempted to go into uh, San Diego to find a load, but I was able to find a load that picks up tomorrow morning over in Calexico. So kind of between Yuma and San Diego. Uh, so not quite as far and um, real easy, real easy to uh, go up there and get get this load tomorrow morning so we're gonna just spend the rest of the night here uh, and uh, we'll get started in the morning but I wanted to give you guys a little little update where we're at what we're doing um, we're, we're hanging out my 10 hours is up in a couple hours but um, you know then I'm gonna go to sleep right up right after my 10 hours is up. so I'll end up taking like 20 hours off but you know that's just the way it happened with this load doing sleep over a split to get down here and then looking for a load you know seeing if I could find anything that picked up this afternoon. Nothing much picked up. So, hey, we got a load um, tomorrow night. I mean, tomorrow morning, tomorrow morning. <laughs> Not tomorrow night, that would that would be too much. But anyway, I'll talk to you guys more about that load right after we roll the music and then I go to sleep. But I'm gonna go to sleep while you guys roll the music and then we'll just, it'll just be tomorrow. It'll be tomorrow right after the music. Roll the music. And now it's morning time, uh, so uh, we're, we got to go over to Calexico. It's about an hour, a little over an hour from Yuma to get over to Calexico. And uh, so we got to get rolling, man. There's no, no, no time to waste. No time to waste. We don't need to be lollygagging around this morning. We've already been parked here for 20 plus hours. So I, uh, I got a good night's sleep. I got eight plus hours in the sleeper, which almost never happens. So uh, I'm feeling good, feeling fresh. And uh, they start loading at 9, and it's about 7.45, so let's get headed over that way so we can get there right at 9, be one of the first trucks they load. How about that? Let's roll! Alright, so uh, 291 Campillo Street is not the same as 291 Avenida de Campillo. So uh, we got to go find 291 Avenida de Campillo in Calexico. So yeah, we got the wrong address on our uh, rate confirmation. I should have uh, just looked up the company name because that's where the 291 Avenida Campillo comes in. And uh, yeah, <laughs> should have done my homework before I came over here. Uh, it's not too far away though, so let's just get rolling again. All right, so now we're over here at 291 Avenida de Campillo. And, uh, well, there's no clear markings on the back of the building where the, uh, where the loading docks are. So I walked around to the front and the front doors are locked. So. I'm gonna go back around over here. At least I can line up which loading dock kind of lines up with their suite number in the front. Cause there's uh, five different suites and each of them have a certain number of docks in the back. So I just gotta hopefully line up the right one with the right one <laughs> and go knocking on some doors. Gotta get loaded, let's go. All right, let's see what happens. All right, so it was I think 10, 11, and 12 line up with where their suite is. Where this tra trailer's dropped. There's a way so. So I was right across from it, I think. Let's see. Oh, we have... We have some uh, little white signs. I didn't even see these earlier. Face mask required. For pickups please call eduardo all right all right so you told me to back into dock 12 and uh man there's some tight quarters in here so i don't know uh i think i can do it but it's it's gonna take me like getting just that right angle on the way in um for me to be able to to get it in there so um 
I'm going to record it for you guys. Once again, for your viewing pleasure, me trying to back up a, a long hood truck in, uh, into a tight dock. And uh, <laughs> you, guys, you guys get to enjoy and, and laugh at me. Laugh at me and uh, and make make you know make yourselves feel good about yourselves for your backing skills. I have to say, when I ran a Freightliner Cascadia that had a shorter hood, that had a shorter wheelbase, and where the uh, the the side of the truck lined up with the side of the trailer, you know, it's a wider cab. I used to be a master backer. No, I actually was pretty good at it. I I. I, uh, I caught on pretty quick and could pretty much hit my mark every single time and uh, I thought I was I thought I was pretty cool but five years of tanker work and uh, and this hood truck have humbled me quite a bit <laughs> so now you guys get to watch me fumble around with this dock so let's see what see if I can get a good angle somewhere with the camera and the tripod we'll see I don't know let's see what we can find <laughs> So that wasn't very difficult. Maybe it uh, it has the illusion of being difficult. I mean, look at my bumper's almost halfway out into the the little driveway here. So um, all the drop trailers, um, you know, if I was having to drop, you know, dock in into that one there, that would have been another story with the trailers over here. But I have the dumpsters over here, which actually give me a little extra room because there's no trailer sticking out. And then on this side, I got the little dumpster thing that I docked around, you can see my tire marks. So I got to cut the corner. Um, I got to cut the corner pretty pretty well. See how I put it in right next to the pole? So I mean, it made it so much easier. So not a difficult one at all, but nevertheless, uh, hey, maybe maybe this uh, this shows progress to you guys, so you guys maybe won't, won't laugh at me as much. Uh, no, it's okay. Um, I don't know if you guys know this, but I'm used to people laughing at me. That's why I do what I do. Um, all right, so um, he said get in dock 12 and then he'll be here in 20 minutes. So I think he's off site and he's gonna come load me. So he's gonna, he's gonna get over here and load us up and I'm just gonna hang out, wait for him. Wait for Eduardo. All right, we're back here getting loaded with some uh, asphalt rolls. Hey, how many pallets are we getting? How many pallets? Uh, 28. Okay, it's pretty much full. Yeah. Yeah, cool. All right, 28 pallets in. We are ready to go. Let's go trucking. We got 500 miles to get to our yard and then we'll, uh, we'll get over to Tracy tomorrow, the Home Depot um, in, uh, in uh, Tracy. So that's what we're doing. That's that's the uh, that's the direction we got to go. And I got to see if I should turn left out of here or right. I think left might be better. But I came in from that side, so I'm gonna check it out. Hold on, I'll uh, I'll talk to you guys once we drive. Let's just go trucking. Let's go.
we're trucking. We're trucking and uh, we're heading north. But uh, I just want to take a little time while we're driving here and uh, just mention a, a couple subscribers who've reached out to me. Um, uh, Wolfgang, and I'm going to mess up your last name, so forgive me, but uh, Ankitel. Wolfgang Ankitel, he, he messaged me, he actually sent me an email and said uh, he just just picked up his first load on his own authority and he's been watching my channel and uh, and others and um, and he's he got the motivation and the inspiration to go out and go on his own authority. He's probably got more experience than me. Most people who watch my channel do. <laughs> and uh, you see, you know, if a knucklehead, knucklehead like me can come out here and make a little bit of money, then maybe you can too. So uh, anyway, congratulations. Keep your head down, grind. Uh, you know what you need to do, so just do it. And uh, you know all the stuff that um, that that you need to learn uh, will come with time, as you just haul more loads. The more loads you do, the better. Uh, and then, uh, obviously, I don't know this guy's real name. It was just his YouTube handle, but he he commented uh, on a video last week. He said uh, his his his, color, his handle is. El Cholo F4C. So, El Cholo, uh, congrats, man. He said he passed his CDL test last week. He said, while you were picking up that load, I was passing my CDL test. So, congratulations. That's uh, the first step. And, uh, man, opens the doors to, um, you know, just so many, so much opportunity to uh, provide for your family, provide for you yourself, give yourself a future. I don't know how old you are or anything. All I know is you're El Cholo. Uh, but you know, if you're a young guy, you know you can set yourself up for for a pretty good future just by putting your head down and working your butt off. Um, you know, if you're like me and you're starting in your 30s and you already got a family, then you know, trucking is an awesome way to just start providing for your family in a better way. And uh, man, congratulations, CDL test. Uh, it's the first challenge of many, and your next challenge is just going to be man working your butt off. Uh, a little bit of advice though, a little bit of advice. Don't don't get su suckered into hanging out with people who complain about their jobs. Because there's a lot of guys out there who just complain about their job non-stop. No matter what it is. You wanna find people who are motivated, who are positive, and who are working their butts off to make their futures better, and then hang out with those guys, talk to those guys on the phone, because those guys will help inspire you to, uh, to, to work your butt off because it's hard man trucking's hard it's a lot of hours there's a lot of things that aren't made like for for our benefit as drivers for our you know there's a lot of stuff in this industry that makes it hard for us and so you got to be able to bring your own motivation every day bring your own inspiration every day and uh, so so hang out with people that that are like that I that was the biggest difference for me when I was doing sulfur. There was a lot of things not to like about doing sulfur when I was a, a owner operator over there with Silva Trucking. But there was me and this guy Josh, my good friend Josh, and we would just bounce back and forth, the positivity back and forth. And when one of us was down, we picked the other one up. Josh rarely gets down, so I didn't have to pick him up too much. But usually, it's just being around someone who's excited to go to work. We'd be excited every day to get in there and tackle it. And you know, other guys would tell us, hey, when we go to work with you guys, we get excited about work. And all of a sudden, instead of just wanting to work nine hours and going home, they're like, yeah, I want to get that extra load because I want to make more money because I'm motivated. So, you know, there's like a, a you know, it, it's contagious when you are, are hustling and when you're positive, when you're motivated. Motivation is, is contagious. And so uh, find people who are motivated and stay around them. There's a lot of guys out here. You'll hear them on the CB radio. You'll see them in the comments of these videos, and you'll see them in real life. That they just are gonna complain, and they don't do anything to change their situation. All they do is complain because they don't want to actually do anything. All they want to do is complain, and they want to like make themselves feel better for not working as hard as they could or as as, as hard as they should. Um, so just find people that are that are motivating and uh, stick stay with those people, man. No matter where you end up going to work, no matter no matter uh, what part part of this CDL industry you get into, this trucking industry you get into, always surround yourself with people who are motivated because it'll help you get to your goals quicker. Uh, see too many guys 
start out motivated and then fall into a cycle with guys who complain a lot and then they end up just they just stay in that little pattern in that little cycle working just enough to pay the bills and then complaining and then working just enough man screw that work your butt off work as much as they'll let you you know take whatever pay they give you and just prove to them that you deserve more work and more pay and then you know when you get a better opportunity then you go but you don't sit there and complain about the opportunity you have at the moment you just make the best of it work your butt off make as much as you can and provide for your family because that's what matters most to you so anyway uh that's a long rant but uh, just wanted to congratulate those two guys and we gotta keep going man we gotta keep trucking So uh, we'll just come back here in the morning and we'll take this load over to Tracy. Um, I got I gotta tell you guys more about this load. Okay, so this load picked up in Colexco, which you guys know, but it's delivering to Tracy. But this is actually a drop trailer load. So I'm gonna take my trailer, I'm gonna drop it in Tracy, and I'm taking the next couple days off anyway, because uh, you know I wasn't gonna be able to do much. Uh, maybe I could have gotten some local work, but um, I don't know, we'll see. So tomorrow is, what, tonight's Wednesday, so tomorrow's Thursday. So I'm gonna drop my trailer on Thursday. So if there's a power only load, you know, local load around um, tomorrow morning or, or, you know, tomorrow evening, I might I might do something. Um, I'll be looking. I, I've kept an eye out on, um, to see if there's any of those Merced to Tracy's. Uh, I did a couple of um, when I was first starting out. So I don't know, we'll see. But uh, I'd like to make a little more revenue this week, but I also, I can't, do anything on Friday I need to be available um, you know to, to um, be there for my for my wife and my my daughters I was even trying to schedule a, a Friday delivery and it's just too risky you just never know if you're gonna get held up for six hours then you know I'm gonna miss picking up Gus and it's gonna it's gonna really cause problems uh, for everybody because Jessica is gonna be out of town so anyway we're um, uh, we got to go and get some sleep and then uh, I'll check in with you guys in the morning when we go drop our trailer off. Makes me a little nervous, but um, you know, this load paying pretty good and I'm I'm pretty uh, I'm I'm okay with it. I'm okay with it. It's, uh, it's it's not my number one choice, but I mean, I got a load from down there. I mean, it was like 56 miles from where I where I dropped off. So I mean, really low deadhead miles and it paid pretty good. So anyway, we'll talk more about that tomorrow once we uh, drop this thing off and then we'll have to go back and pick it up either Friday or Monday so if it's Friday me and Gus are gonna go pick it up together that's what I'm thinking um, once once he gets gets out of school so anyway we'll see we'll see I'm no promises I'm not telling him that yet nothing like that but it's almost time for Gus to go trucking with dad he hasn't done any like real work yet we just we just tested it out from Bakersfield back here a couple weekends ago and it went well and that's three and a half hours so yeah so I think he's ready to go trucking I, I think he is so uh, we'll we'll check it out and then I'll ask them tomorrow when I drop the trailer off like hey man you guys aren't gonna be weird if I bring my son right like you know no weird security uh, I don't know some of these places have tight security like as if they're like you know some kind of national security threat but uh, anyway uh, that's it for tonight see you guys in the morning all right, good morning, good morning, good morning. I'm ready to go make this delivery, man. Ready to go drop this trailer and uh, hope that it doesn't get damaged or stolen. <laughs> but uh, hey, this video is already getting pretty long. I started editing it last night. Saw how much footage I have, so 
We're not gonna do a ton of driving footage. Actually, we're gonna do all the driving footage all the way there to Tracy. It's about 45 miles, something like that. Actually, I haven't looked at the mileage, but I just know Tracy's about 40, 45 miles away. So maybe 50, all right? So about 50 miles worth, but we're just gonna do it all right here. All right, and just like that, that's how fast it happens. Just like, just like that, all of a sudden we, we drove all the way here to Tracy. We dropped the trailer over there inside the Home Depot uh, distribution center lot, and uh, and now we're bobtailing out. And uh, they got me the number so that um, I can call back and try to find out. They said 24, and then this time they said 72 hours. So my paperwork says 24 to 48, but they said 24 to 72, but they work through the weekend. So it's Thursday, it'll be done by Saturday. I think I'll just plan for me and Gus to come down here on Saturday and get that trailer. Um, and we'll just make a little day out of it, you know? Just come over here, come pick up the trailer, maybe go and get some uh, some lunch somewhere, or go take him to the park. I don't know, We're gonna, I'm gonna come up with a plan, because it's just the boys weekend, just the boys this weekend. So anyway, um, yeah, that's what, I'm just gonna run back to the house right now, Bobtail, and um, yeah, we'll see you, we'll see, we'll see you guys whenever whenever I see you on, on the, when I come back to pick up this load. We're gonna, we're gonna hold off on finishing this video until we come back with Gus and pick up this load. So uh, yeah, that's what we'll do next. All right? All right. Gus, say hi. Say cheese. Well, we're not, we're taking video. We're not, we're not doing a picture, so you can't say cheese. Say cheese. But you did have cheese on your pizza just now, didn't you? Did you like that pizza? Yeah, he liked that pizza. All right, so <clears throat> we're actually not going to go pick up the trailer today. Um, I didn't even call him because once I got home and started hanging out with this guy um, and I booked my, my load for Monday and my load for Monday, um, I'm going to be driving right through Tracy to go pick it up. So it's, it was kind of like, okay, I could waste like two hours today going and picking up that trailer and then bringing it back to, to my yard just to leave again on Monday to go right past, you know, right through Tracy to go pick it up. Or I can just pick it up Monday. So I decided I was just going to go pick it up Monday. So me and him just came out and got some pizza. We're kind of wearing matching stuff right now. Black shirt, gray shorts. Black shirt, gray shorts. Yeah, we're doing the dad thing. Huh, buddy? <laughs> A little quiet today. A little quiet. But uh, anyway... So let's run through the numbers real quick on this load. What was that? <laughs> Making faces at the camera. All right. So um, <clears throat> the numbers. So this load was about 600 and something miles uh, from, you know, um, where we picked it up. Um, well, from Yuma to Calexico, Calexico, all the way up to Tracy to the delivery. So it was like about 615 miles, something like that. Um, and then and then back to my yard. So all of that um, came out to about 615 miles. And we got um, 2,300 on the rate on this one. So 2,300 on the rate, 615 miles, comes out to like 370 something a mile. So... Uh, not too bad. We did two loads this week, one down to Yuma, one up from Calexico to Tracy, and we got 4,800 bucks. So, um, just, just two trips. So I'm hoping that this next week I can kind of keep the hammer down. Um, it is Maggie's birthday next Saturday. So this is what it is, man. When you got four kids, you just got like birthdays, anniversaries. Uh, that's why I, I really dislike, you know, like the, 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 the Valentine's day and the, and the Mother's Day, all the all the you know greeting card holidays, because it's like, bruh, I got enough holidays I gotta worry about. I got enough things that matter to me, you know, like actual holidays, like Easter and Christmas, and then you've got like, you know, the all of the birthdays, and uh, and then you got extended family, you know, you gotta do stuff for your parents for their anniversary, for their birthdays. So it's, it's, it's a lot, man. It's a lot. So I can't I can't always you know do the whole big Valentine's Day thing because you know what man screw that all right screw that but anyway um so I'm gonna try and run hard this next week uh, all the way up until Maggie's birthday um on Saturday so we'll see uh what I can get I know what I got for Monday and uh I actually know what I got for Tuesday too but you guys are gonna have to wait and see that gonna have to check out the next episode so uh yeah 
Love you guys. Peace out. See you guys on the next load. Gus, say bye. Gus, say bye. 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 Say peace out. Peace out.